attempt number two. Although I already saw this, so... Ginger, that's what you need. A mouthful of the good stuff and you'll see the back of any seasickness. Oh, thank you for your support, John. Don't suppose you actually brought any ginger? No, I don't get seasick. Terrific. Don't worry, Sherry. We've almost arrived at Cordona. I can see land through the porthole. So much for docking by tea time. The captain seemed more interested in his maids than in his maps. Oh, he sure looked grumpy. Cheer up. We're back where we grew up. It's exciting. What's changed? What's the same? Oh, I'm starting to question whether the week's long journey was worth it. Traveling all this way, enduring this indignity simply to visit the grave. Oh, it is my mother's. Ah, that's just Mycroft's nonsense, still rattling around in your head. Try to forget what he said. I have. I believe it was that this is a performative farce, a feeble excuse to avoid responsibilities, and that there was nothing to be gained from it. You needed to do this. Enough of the self-pity and doubt. So we're a little late. What of it? We'll retire to the hotel and visit her in the morning. It'll be worth it. Thank you, John. And if you want to notify the captain's wife of his indiscretions, I will not stand in your way. Ah, oh, at last. I'm quite ready to get off this cursed boat. Come on. Sit boat. We'll go together. Let's go together. Okay, here we are, boys. Boys hey, and Sherry. girls. Come on, catch up. Yes, yes. Welcome to the game. Use L to move around and press A to interact with objects. Okay, I think the game actually seems to be moving way, way better than yesterday. And I really just turned off the fucking shadows, which I don't care that much about. Okay, um... Settings... I didn't do anything about this one. Um, interactive icons for people and items you can interact with. Evidence in your casebook will have an action icon hinting at an accept in your investigation. You will receive prompts to visit the mind palace and casebook and you will be notified when you've collected key evidence and all evidence. Uh, decision making time. Investigation progress notifications. Interactivity icons off. Decision making time. I want to think about stuff. Some more chemical analysis. It's just normal. That's a stupid thing. So I guess I only turn off this one. Well, I might as well just stick to. This thing. I think my difficulty should stay as it is. Video should be the way it is. Controls. We have controls the way they were, so that's fine. How to play. I think I never went through this thing. Welcome to the game. Wait. Um, why are we seeing 61 FPS sometimes? Do we have a cap? I think we have a cap. Yeah, it is limited at 60. But it's moving just fine. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I think even our settings are probably pretty good. We'll see how it is inside. Are we at high? We are at high. Actually, that's pretty good. The FTS, a little bit of a drop, but that's fine. Just eight to interact with objects. Sherlock! Don't get lost in this huge garden. Follow the sound of my voice. These people have no interaction. This guy has also no interaction. I wanted to just move a little bit and explore the world. It is a beautiful hotel. Welcome to Il Palazzo de Luso, sir. Thank you. If you need something, sir, please inquire at reception. Thank you. Welcome to Il Palazzo di Lusso, sir. We just need your signature. We just need your signature. A mother's love. Back to Cordona. 
I arrived at Corona, the island where I spent my childhood. Okay. All of the cases Sherlock accepts are recorded inside a case book and divided in categories. Use the list at the left to select the case and read through. Oops. I don't think about it. The information there is stored in the form of evidence. Right. Evidence is crucial to your investigation and contains valuable information you'll need, such as names and addresses. A notification shows when the evidence is updated. Check it in the case book. So hint that's what you can do with it. Search a location. Inquire with people around you in this evidence. Talk to the case participant. Use concentration. Research this in the archives. Find a use for the item. Take a photograph. Okay. Disguise yourself. Perform a chemical analysis. John wants to challenge you. Press to pin. Hold to a large picture of the evidence. I didn't know that. Map. We are not using map yet. Pin evidence. Certainly, you take the pin evidence when profiling people. It will not be able to spot relevant traits. In conservation mode, tracking and certain points of interest appear when you have the relevant development of course. Pin the evidence to use conservation when this icon appears in HUD. Okay, concentration. In this, in the case book, this icon on a piece of evidence indicates that you need to use concentration. Combat, not yet. Combat bending layers, no, John. John can be very helpful. Tom's John will challenge you with a special objective. Feel the sign depending on actions or action. Sad. <laughs> Archives, we don't have that yet. Chemical analysis. This is a weird thing. But maybe just because it was the first initial one. Yeah. Dialogues. White strings are optional, yellow ones will push the dialogue forward. Sometimes the suspects are not yet ready to crack and will need more convincing before they will confess. In such cases, you will see an accuse. Okay. You can only win an interactive acquisition if all three evidence items were selected. Whoa. Disguise, gossip. Meaning game, some of the words I wanted to hint. 
to help you with figuring out what a hint will appear as you start eavesdropping. Imagination, investigation. LB. Highlight. Oh yeah, that's the scan, no? In Palace. I think I got this. Traders, I don't know. Okay. Let's play. Would you kindly sign these papers, sir? Would you well, kindly sign course. these papers, sir? There you are. Ah, Mr. Holmes. Uh, yes, we have room 221 prepared for you. I see it was reserved for two people. Uh, would you like a second key? Oh, uh, no, I, I think we'll stick together. Very good. Rooms are upstairs, sir. Welcome to Cordona. Hurry up, Sherlock. I want to see our room. I hope there's a balcony with a view. Welcome me and said that the room had been prepared for me upstairs. So now it's highlighted with the thing. It means I have to go there, right? So we just see people doing something. Maybe the same models set upstairs. So I went here before. This is weird because nobody's talking. This guy just sitting there. Dear James. Is that going to be important or no? Maybe no. Two to six. <laughs> well, are they actually playing? Their faces are so weird. Even my face is weird. Okay, so this is the bar. Two, 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 one. I apologize, sir, but your room is not yet ready. Fuck Perhaps you. Perhaps in the meantime, you would like to relax in the foyer? Tonight, the restaurant is offering a complimentary Marlin ceviche to all our guests. Let's check what they have on offer. Marlin Javiche. The servant told me that my room is not yet ready. I guess I will have to spend some time in the foyer. John's diary. Foyer. Hey, Sherry. Just our luck. A medium, John, haven't we been through this already? Come on, it's not like we've got anything better to do. Excuse me, sir, but I believe Mr. Galich is conducting a seance at the moment. Perhaps you'd care to have your portrait drawn while you wait? Why? Pardon me? Why should I sit for a portrait? I... Sir, it's art. It doesn't need a why. It is its own justification. All things require justification, be they objects, systems, or beliefs. How about art as the lens through which we see the truth of the world? 
that's backward. Truth is not subjective. I'm not complicated. It's just the truth. It either is or it isn't. You do not need a lens to see it, just an open mind. Ha! Huh. That seems rather close-minded. Truth, like beauty, is in the eye of the beholder. So tell me, what do you see? Mediocrity. <laughs> Come now, Sherry. What did he do to deserve that? The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. I'm starving. The servant mentioned ceviche at the bar, Sherry. You should grab us some, and I'll find us a table. Um, okay. Will this guy be important for later? Getting the medium today, only the famed medium. It's okay, so he is famed. Luca Galici performs a seance. Witness him summon the spirits of beloved relatives and celebrities. Chen Wang to visit the medium. If seafood's not to your taste, everyone loves Benedict's batch. Our poached eggs with hollandaise sauce. Okay, time to check if John found us a nice table for the evening. Plate of ceviche. What is this option? I think it's the one where you have to use it somewhere. Find the use for the item, right. Sherry, I'm over here with my new Ursine companion. What are you waiting for? Put the dish down so we can tuck in. Cordon is even quieter than I remembered. It's going to be a long evening. Ah, oh, come now, Sherry. What say we amuse ourselves with a little game? What were you thinking? Oh, promise me it isn't nonsense. After being cooped up... No. As you can see, someone left the... Ah, uh, so it is nonsense. Well then, you can deliver... Deliver it. Stubborn sherry, too. Slapping oneself in the face is also something to do. That doesn't make... A table to spend the evening. Wants me to inspect it. Okay. Move. Rotate. The cane is made of ebony. It's worn uncared for and bears the scars of numerous hits. A crest depicting a bulb of garlic in a meadow. Perhaps the fielding family or meadows. Or craven. From the old English name meaning garlic place. The hand grip is a head of a golden Javanese statue, probably stolen from a temple. The dents suggest it has been used as a bludgeon. This cane is an expensive and ostentatious weapon. Its owner must be vain, volatile, and of noble English blood. Take it with you, Sherry. Let's return it to its owner. All right, I hope you noted down your observations in your casebook. But how are you going to find this nobleman? The cane itself is not enough. I may have to ask other guests if they saw who was here. Okay, the lost cane. Sherlock can ask by standards of a piece of evidence. Press to pin the evidence and then speak to someone. Okay, sure. So here we have this thing, the lost cane. So I can talk to people and I can pin it. So I pinned it. This guy doesn't say anything. But I am not in the mood to talk. Idiot. Could you help me? Friend, you're lucky there is something I know about this. Couple and a retired Navy officer. Even with your keen senses, Sherry, I doubt you'll find the cane's owner on your first try. 
<laughs> I can't help and you with it, would sir. you be confident enough to bet on it, my friend? Why not? Let's see how good you really are. Okay, boy. John's bet. Pin. Discuss. And what is the I? The I is for use concentration. English noble. German judge. Oh, did this change? Yesterday, I think these guys were Swedish. That's pretty cool. Scottish teacher. Cordonian. Cordonian. Swedish auditor. Wait, what? It must be him, but why is he Swedish suddenly? I is this fucked up? Former Navy officer. Retired military officer. Why is he so Swedish? Is the game fucked up? May I ask you something? My dear fellow, you're talking to the right man. Hey, Sherry, don't we now have the perfect excuse to visit the seance? I'm just going to give the cane to its owner. You will not persuade me to take part in this show. Someone left their cane at my table. I suspect you will want it back. My apologies, sir, but I wouldn't know how to identify its owner. Hmm. So the simplest option ended in failure. That's irritating. No, what is irritating is you trying to break the rules of my game, Sherry. Don't be so lazy. Or sportsmanship. What is that achievement? Try to take the easy way out. Oh. <laughs> Well, we happen to know where to go, so... Would you like a drink, sir? Would you like a drink, sir? Not really, sir. Come on, if you hurry, perhaps we'll see the ghost. Hmm. This hotel, this island, it's full of thieves! First my cane, now the diamond. Take your hands off me! Do you even know who I am? Hey, boy! That's my cane! I get that a lot. It's a very common design. What? No, that's a custom made! A joke. A joke. It was left at my table in the restaurant. I thought it deserved to be returned. Well, I'll be... It is rare to encounter a straight-fingered true penny these days. What a gentleman. But I must ask, how did you know I was the rightful owner?
garlic, dude. Head of garlic. Doesn't wear a wedding ring. Red face, swollen. Expensive and new clothes. Slightly red necklace. Recently hit someone with force. Right. Judging by the heraldic emblem on his signet ring and cane, I can be fairly certain that this is Manny's Lord Craven. Now, a bored, rich nobleman who, who travels around Europe squandering his money. Problems with alcohol. He's still physically strong and healthy, but in a few years' time he'll be wretched. And constantly drunk, he has issues with his temper. His red uncles reveal that he has severe, severely beaten at least one person quite recently. Judging by their heraldic emblem, I can be certain this noble Englishman in the habit of visiting resorts to receive treatment for his liver malady. His forward face indicates that he has succumbed to the temptation to drink a few shots by the sounds. By his red knuckles, I presume. Yes, I mean, this one is straight to the. He just beat him up. So, this explanation that he's red knuckles, presume that he takes boxing lessons, are stupid. Simple deduction. Your cane told me everything I needed to know. I was after a strong middle aged man with a keen interest in adventure, noble blood, and affection for strong drink. And if one were to go further, one may even be able to extrapolate your name from your heraldic symbol, Lord Craven. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. That's me, Lord Andrew Craven. You are the real medium. You hear that, Emma? Well, you found my cane. Perhaps you can locate my diamond, too. Yes. Holmes, and if a child can do it... The police? Why bother? Fine. Give me my stick and I'll resolve the matter myself. This thief almost confessed after a single punch. Hmm. I suspect a beating may result in answers of questionable veracity. Fine. I shall spare you and he the trouble if you first answer me this. You insist the medium robbed you during the seance. But what occurred exactly? Ah! It was a dirty trick. We were sitting here. Then something began to appear from the medium, like a, a cloud or a bubble. Ah, yes. Common in the spirit. Indeed. Perhaps too much. My beloved Emma screamed in horror, and I stood to defend her attack. How brave. But my hand hit nothing. The medium jumped away from me, and Emma fainted. I lit the candle, and the diamond was gone. How does a priceless diamond become the subject of a... Emma wished to speak with its former owners. My grandfather told us it belonged to a Raja, an in... So you were summoning long-dead Indian royalty? To be frank, Mr. Holmes, I don't... Well, a crown is a crown. A yellow diamond, not less than a hundred carats, and perfectly egg-shaped. There is not another... Stay here, and... Don't fret, I'll be keeping... British aristocrat in high dudgeon. Friendly. Find the stone, Mr. Holmes, and quickly. Very conscious. Pale skin, quickened pulse, unsteady breathing. She's barely conscious. The feebleness of women. Really, Sherry? Poor thing. Quite a display for the tremulous visitor. How can you not love this stuff, Sherry? It adds so much atmosphere to the room. And this is the interesting part. Like, he stopped here talking about the mirror. 
but they never explained it. It was never was in the case, in the course. Of course. It is very dangerous to leave a mirror exposed during a sec. Or someone may notice the trick they should not see. What happened here? I don't know. The ghost. I summoned it as usual, but then it all went wrong. The lady screamed and pointed at Lord Craven. And there was a shadow. Such a mystical force. It terrified the lady. Do you feel the pr Are you joking, sir? My nose is broken. This I suppose. I will invent. But this stubborn brute Lord Craven blames me right now. As if I could do something like that. Two mind palace clues acquired. Ethiopian medium disoriented. I didn't friendly. take the diamond, I swear. Thank you for helping us resolve the situation, sir. The diamond was placed on the table so that all participants could reach it. Half a glass of foul blair scotch and the remains of a poor Laranaga cigar. What else does a gentleman need? This must be the ectoplasm. Too bad there's not enough for a proper chemical analysis. Ectoplasm? There are light traces of sharing. rouge on the edge of this wine glass. This brooch is old and cheap, but the moth design has its charms. Ah, seems like you're ready to delve into your mind palace, Sherry. I'm sure you'll make some good deductions. Enough clues to make a deduction. Open the kiss book to navigate to the mind palace. Inside a pair of clues, you get it to make deductions. Right. There is a holder where the diamond was kept, a cigar, but and whiskey glass were on the table at the place nearest the main door. So that's our guy opposite the window. Plus a boy, Lincoln's burger. <laughs> then you put it across the table. Someone in the courtyard must have seen someone outside as she was pointing at the window. I'm sure, certain that someone was in the courtyard. It seems there may have been an unexpected visitor outside the window. Ah, oh, I hope it was the ghost of the Raja. Oh, the chair! I never inspected the chair. Hello. This hefty chair has nearly broken after hitting the wall. Could one man even lift it? At Cambridge, I was captain of the rugby team. It was no place for weaklings. I didn't have this before. This looks recent. A shoe with a broken heel will surely leave scratches. All right, John. Do you think a ghost could leave this footprint? I'm reserving judgment. Use your keen eye to follow the trail.
Rose de Moore. All the maids in the hotel wear this exact shoe. Size four with a broken heel. So definitely not the ghost of a Raja. Unless... <sighs> no, what a shame. Our witness was a nosy maid. Hmm. Searching the entire hotel could be difficult. Perhaps the other maids can help us find her. Talk about it. Analyze it. And pin it. Can I ask you a question? Hmm. You look like an honorable man. I have some information for you. Finally, there you are. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. You... How did you... Simple. You changed shoes. I'm sorry, sir, but... A precious diamond was... I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but we are forbidden... Hmm. Are you... Saletta. Tell me, Miss Saletta, what would your manager say if he knew you were spying on guests? I... I won't, but only if you... Describe what happened during the seance. A lady and two gentlemen were sitting at a table, touching their hands to something. The medium... A ghost? Hmm? It was unearthly, sir. It grew from the medium's chest. A glowing... And the lady saw you? How did you... Yes. She screamed and pointed, so I hurried to escape, and I broke my heel. But I did see the ghost. A sickly, evil thing. And that's all you... <laughs> the, the medium, Mr. Galici, he was doing something. I suppose I should be grateful you endured these horrors for such a long time. All right. Oh, you scared the poor girl, Sherry. Did she really deserve that? We all got what we wanted. She talked. I stay silent. Oh, let's get back to the crime scene. I always love seeing you explain simple things to simpletons. What is this thing? Lady Craven retired to her room to rest. Lord Craven remained here until the staff reported that the medium was locked in his room. It all began when the lady screamed and pointed at the window. Lord Craven jumped up, ready to face anything, ghost or human. The medium shrank back in dismay. He was not expecting such a reaction and had to quickly hide the ghost. The lady was the only one left touching the diamond, at least until she fainted.
amazing. It's like you saw it with your own eyes, sir. Oh, I forgot that you were here. I guess I should discuss all of this with Lady Craven. The Cravens are upstairs in room 226. It is one of our finest suites. If the lady was touching a diamond, then she would have felt the ghost take it. What do you think it felt like, Sherry? A jellyfish? Ooh, I love the ambiance. Nice and creepy. Okay, so what did we get new? Probable thief. When the spirit appeared, there was chaos. The current scream, the lawn, sermons. Okay, yeah, she was the last one to hold it. Lord Craven punched a medium. What is it? Two to six, right? Yeah, so that's right here. We're gonna have the eavesdropping thing. Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Lady Craven is not who she seems. Remember her behavior in the hall? Oh, yeah. Now I get it. Cannot use a fish knife means she's um, not cultured or like educated. That means, yeah, that just means she is, she's not her lady. Last. I didn't do that. I swear. I found her this way. Well, I did have some questions for her, but it seems I've arrived too late. Now it's a matter for the police. Mr. Holmes, you said it yourself. They're children. Investigate a theft, not a murder. Fear not. Please help me. The police will surely have. You were the only one who can find the truth. Look, after you left, I waited in the seance room until the servants locked up Mr. Galici, the medium. And was your mistress there too? Oh, so you... you know? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, regardless, the staff took Emma to her room. She was still feeling dizzy. So you didn't follow her. Interesting. Where did you go instead? To the bar. It had been almost an hour. I see. And how long did you stay? I partook of a well-earned whiskey or two before retiring upstairs. Ask anyone there. Is Mr. Galici still being held, and where did the servants secure him? He's in room 225, but that pi- Well, I will have to visit reception myself. Now we arrive at the tragedy- So what transpired after your detour to the bar? I headed up to my room to find Emma on the bed. I didn't pay her much attention at first. I was still preoccupied with that damned medium. But when I realized she was silent, I drew closer and discovered she was dead. What's more, the diamond lay right there beside her. Oh, well, that is splendid news. Splendid? The return of the diamond will be cold comfort. Let me see what... Barely an hour has passed, and you already have yourself a murder mystery, Sherlock. Why am I not surprised? Hmm. Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. It's 
strangled with bare hands, judging by the bruises. This must be the missing diamond. A tremendous specimen, now forever tainted. Everything was tipped out of the bed as if it was searched. I think she stole the stone. It's certainly possible, but we won't get her confession now. Well, there is a professional medium right next door. It still has that stupid thing. hiding place. Why would she conceal all of this? Hmm. This ring looks out of place among the others, and the design is familiar. Virtus or Dactus Apit. Courage tastes bold. A unique family motto. Several thousand pounds, that's quite a fortune. Fard Rouge, Calamel Mascara, a real altar of beauty for the traveling temptress. The mystery deepens, a victim with a checkered past and poor taste. A remarkably simple lock. I found these jewels secreted away. Are you familiar with them? Ah, it cannot be so. That deceptive wagtail. How could she do this? That sounds like a yes. These items were supposedly stolen from us during our trip. I must have spent hours reporting it all to the police. And it turns out she had them all along. The trollop. I'd kill her myself were she not dead already. Stop wasting time. The murderer is getting away. I am the... John. So young and so dead. Another mystery to investigate, my friend. Someone was not happy with his post. Uh, 
I get everything or did I miss the notification? noticed him. Do you know anything about this? That's a question I can answer. Well, a lot of things here. Definitely the moth things. Emma is a swindler and was stealing from Lord Craven. Get to the point, Mr. Holmes. Stop wasting time. The murderer is getting away. Get to the point, Mr. Holmes. Stop wasting time. The murderer is getting away. Stop wasting time. The murderer is getting away. I doubt I can help with this. Do you recognize this ring? Should I? That's a third-rate piece if ever I've seen one. I'd never buy something like this. Did you ever see Miss Emma wearing it? No. And why should she? I gave her enough jewelry that she could wear a superior ring every day of the week. What? Why does it say? Okay. 
Okay, let's go to the other guy. Give me the key to Luca Galici's. I suppose you are an imp. Awkward. They still don't know what a nasty. Hush. No need to cause another ruckus. The last thing we want is the police to come meddling. Hello, senor. I'm afraid I can wait no longer to hear your account of the seance. Lady Craven wanted to meet the spirit of the Raja. In my conjuration, I am sure the spirit was the only one who could have taken the diamond. Lord Craven needs to leave me alone. Do you think Such a stupid thing. Of course. I didn't take anything. And spiritual phenomena are beyond their control. Or should I summon the ghost again so they may attempt to handcuff it? I think I would prefer to begin my investigation in the physical realm. I have shocking news that changes your situation entirely. Oh. I, I'm not in the necessary state for summoning. The spirits prefer clarity of mind and soul. Please, tell me. Lady Craven died in the very next room while you were in here. Did you not hear anything? What? How? I, in fact, I did hear noises. That Craven is a very loud man. But I never thought he would do that to his wife. Well, you claim to be a medium. Perhaps you could ask her spirit why. What? No, it's uh, too dangerous. Oh, well, at least I can make the dead talk. Those scratches on your hands look rather painful. What happened to you? It was those savage servants. They were so rough bringing me here as if I was trying to escape. When I'm free, I'll demand compensation. That's a remarkable pin of yours, Mr. Galici. Does it have any meaning? The butterfly? It's a reminder of a time in which I was truly happy. What a coincidence. Lady Craven had a ring with the same design. A coincidence indeed. <laughs> I suspect it is a common theme in jewelry. Always take me to the best of places, Sherry. Do you always travel with your books, Mr. Galici? I do. In my line of work, one needs resources available to help deal with the unpredictable and unworldly. Hmm. Someone is making the most of his stay. Can you blame the man? I'd say he's not ordering enough. Tools and accessories for masterful prestidigitation. Or or weapons and defenses against visitors from the great beyond. A familiar substance. It's the ectoplasm that stained the seance table, but this time there's enough for analysis.
My faith in this medium has burst, just like a rubber balloon. Do you realize just how dang- I beg your pardon? I'll bet it makes your rubber balloons glow impressively in the dark, but you'll regret it when the hypertension and vomiting sets in. You mock my talent, sir. You shouldn't be so flippant about things beyond your earthly understanding. How ignorant one must be to compare a spirit's ectoplasm with balloons. It was merely a word of caution. We both know how match factory workers look after several years on the job. Okay. This is all just a big misunderstanding. The spirits confirm it. Anything else left here or... Okay, the lock can be easily picked. Fresh scratches. Strangled. Wait, is this one that I can decide between or no? I must be missing something. What did I miss? Sir, I have to inform you that the investor continues. However, the ring has not even been found. Oh, the ring. L. O. Dupont, the servants were unable to find any evidence of his participation. All evidence collected now. Oh, I didn't read it carefully. This is not about the diamond, this is about the ring, which is the one she stole. I just have to make the decision, right? Key evidence collected. Wait, do I go to accuse them first? Or do I do this first? Wait, if I go talk to him, what are my options? 
Do something about it, Holmes. I... I did not do it. You know that. Oh yeah, wait. Um, yeah, so we could kill her, she was bad. Okay, so if he's the murderer, do I just go to him? Do something about it, Holmes. Nope. I, I did not do it. You know that. I did not do it. You know that. Luca Galici, I know you murdered Lady Craven, and I can prove it. That would be a grand story for the newspapers. But where's your proof? I was locked in here and could not hurt a fly. Your wrists are bloodied. And there's no way a servant's manhandling could cause such an injury. It was Lady Craven as you strangled her. You are... You are fantasizing, Mr. Holmes. As for the motive, it's obvious that you deduced that Lady Craven was the real thief. Of course, it helped that this was not your first encounter with Miss Emma. Uh, I am... Uh, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. How on earth can you believe this? I think the police will easily find the proof when they browse their archives. Yes, yes, the locked room. Good of you to mention it. I inspected the door between the rooms, and the lock on it is piteous. You could open it with a penknife. So I am now a burglar, as well as a thief and a murderer? It is done, Luca. You will be arrested. Your best strategy now is to confess and hope your reasons were justified. I... Uh, I... Ha. I don't know how you figured it out. But yes, I killed her. I had to. This woman could not get away with ruining my life twice. Twice? I knew Emma before she was a lady. I mean, she pretended to be noble back then too. But only so our gang, the moths, could steal from those snobs. She betrayed us, stole all our money and disappeared, leaving us to rot in jail. I was young. I spent three years in that hell. And tonight, she tried to set you up again. Did she recognize you? She didn't. I came to her afterwards, pleading that she drop this farce, but she laughed in my face. I just remembered my time in the clink. All I suffered while she indulged. Then I grabbed her throat. Hmm. Now that he confessed... You already suffered at Miss Emma's hands once. I'm not convinced you deserve to suffer again. I can't help but notice the window latch seems faulty. Perhaps I should leave you here alone and fetch someone. I'm afraid it may take me some time. I... Oh. oh thank you. Thank you. The police <laughs> won't notice your disappearance immediately. Run, leave Cordona, and try to lead a decent life. I won't forget your kindness. I owe you everything, Mr. Holmes. Stop wasting time. Run. <laughs> Open the door, Mr. Galici. Don't make it worse. We know you're in there. Imbeciles, my you dawdling. Step aside. <laughs> That was too much fun, Sherry. I'm buzzing. Buzzing. Wasn't it fun? A woman died, John. I was too slow to the truth, too hesitant to intervene. How can you... Oh, lighten up. Those people made their choices. If you swan about with a diamond in your pocket, that's what happens. Wealth is a weakness, so we must blame those who covet it. With enough money on the line, Sherlock, a man will do just about anything. Even murder. And then we get to solve it. I suspect you perhaps cannot grasp the true horrors of mortality, John. 
Oi, I am aware of my perilous existence, thank you very much. Mm. I must admit, even if the outcome of the adventure was imperfect, there was some pleasure to be had in the puzzle. Well, Cordona seems more depraved and decadent than we thought. I bet you'll get another chance. A bet, you say? A uh, figure of speech. Just a figure of speech. Ah, damn. Well, take one last look at the view, then we must be off. It's time to do what we came here for. Oh, -ho. he's complete new entry in John's diary and some other stuff. Now it's time to go to the cemetery in Miner's End. There's a figure of a crying angel on Mother's tombstone. Okay. Okay, so we are now... Is this the open world? Hello, my lady. Where are we going to save this? Sherry, I forbid you to spend another night here. The hotel's reputation won't survive a second investigation. Okay, at least I'm glad the game is running pretty nice with the shadows off. Free ride for every hotel visitor. Just tell me where to go. 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 <laughs> oh gosh, it's 3 p.m. Is everything all right? If you don't feel up to it, I won't tell anyone. It's just a goodbye, John. It won't be difficult. I've already come to terms with my mother's passing. Hmm. So you really don't remember? To what do you refer? Funeral. Sherlock, you were distraught. At first, I thought this visit would dredge up those feelings, but you've been remarkably level. John, I think I was too young to understand. I couldn't fathom why she would leave me. Perhaps that pain is best left forgotten. On the contrary, it's why I'm visiting her grave. To remember her. I thought you wanted to remember, Sherry. Concentrate, and I'm sure it will come back to you. Wait, what is this pin thing? Why is it flashing? Back to Cortona. Ripper Street, Cordona Cemetery, Creek Bridge, Caesars Bridge, Market on a Bridge. <laughs> Mycroft was adamant that we leave for London immediately after the funeral. He never told me why, but I saw how unsettled he was by the long requiem. The service was sparsely attended. Though my parents were buried separately, the pastors said they're united in heaven. I didn't believe him even then. I wanted to see her one last time before the coffin was interred and say how I loved her. The chance never came. I, I feel I rather faint. You're fine, you're fine. It's over now. You remembered everything. It will get easier soon.
pocket watch. It seems familiar, John. Why is it here? Where's the bloody pocket watch? Wait, where is the pocket watch? What the fuck? Oh, did he take the pocket watch? Someone lit the candle and left the pocket watch on my mother's grave. Oh, there's the can oh, there's the pocket watch. V H. This watch was a gift. My mother's initials are engraved on it. The piece is in good condition. It must have been placed here only recently. Rest in peace, Violet Holmes. Goodbye, Mother. On the candle, maybe? A candle in a small puddle of wax. It cannot have been lit for more than half an hour. Is this really how you want to spend this time? This is my mother's pocket watch, John. Who put it here and why? Are you not in the slightest bit interested? <clears throat> this is excessive, Sherlock. Can you not let the mystery be? Oh, when I don't have it, then it's not working. That's weird. A man in fashionable shoes stood near the tomb. The size of the prince suggests he is approximately five and a half feet tall. about to tell me the make and model of tire but let me assure you I do not care hmm. ah, well it was going to be very impressive come on then the trail continues ahead He mustn't be far away to leave it unattended. It's stained with oil paint. The hospital are crypts. If memory serves, they're located at the far end of the cemetery around an old tree. What? A portable easel was kept there. I hope that inspiration strikes upon visiting these beautiful vaults. At the very least, you'll enjoy the view. Yours, Mercuria. An artist working in a cemetery? Do you think he'd paint my portrait? I don't get it. How did he get the reading thing from what? Do I now need to find the crypt?
Hier. How about this guy? Can I ask him? Don't mind me, sir. I'm just a loyal servant of my craft. Do they go up or down? May I ask for your assistance? There is no amount of money that would make me talk. May I ask for your assistance? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and... Oh, it's the same guy, hello. Oh, it's that ridiculous artist from the hotel. Be nice, Sherry. Make friends. Mr. Holmes, did you come for another portrait? <laughs> no, no, I jest. You gave quite the performance last night. The hotel was a buzz with your name. I must say I was rather absorbed in it all. The fallibility of men. Such scandal. It was a welcome distraction. Oh, my manners. I am Werner Vogel, art enthusiast and gallery proprietor. Mr. Vogel, I was perhaps too curt when last we spoke. Speak no more of it. Travel takes it out of any man, never mind when this is your destination. Once I learned who you were, the pieces fell into place. Your mother was well liked on Cadona in her time here. I was sorry to hear of her passing. How did you come to possess my mother's pocket watch? Oh my! It is quite something to witness those powers of deduction firsthand. Yes, I. I left you her timepiece. After her death, there was an estate sale. All of Cordona's elite picking of her remains. I couldn't let such a lovely thing go to those vultures. When I learned your name, I could no longer keep the watch in good conscience. It is yours by right, and I knew you'd find it here. Thank you. I'd forgotten all about it, but the moment I saw it, I knew it was hers. Amazing what the young mind forgets and the older can recall. Rather odd, loitering in a cemetery. I suspect you'll win, but I'm here for my art. There's beauty everywhere if you look, even in decay. A little darkness brings out the light. Now, a diligent observer might note that you too are loitering in a cemetery. What brings you here? Closure answers penance? Closure, I suppose. And what is closure? Mere proximity? Understanding. Acceptance. You didn't understand from afar. You had to come here to accept the truth of her death? Of course I understand. She died of consumption, drowning in her own blood. Your mother? Yes, my mother. Hmm. I must have been misinformed. I'd heard otherwise. Otherwise than consumption? No, no. You'd know better than I. I'd heard talk of a police investigation, but Cordona is a notorious gossip. And what does it matter? She's passed them either way. She has. Well, I shall intrude no longer. I leave you to your closure. Do stop by the gallery if your travels permit. Farewell. Are you all right, Sherry? Take as long as you need. Hmm. Whatever I need, it isn't here. We should explore Cordona. Perhaps there are archives that may shed further light. It's kind of weird that I met him again. 
Is he the new Moriarty? Um... Please archive strength. Now, how do you travel here? Whoa. Mega lagging. Could you help me? I don't want my friends to see me talking to a spile money bag. <laughs> May I ask you something? Don't be angry with me, sir, but I don't know. Time to check your who, what, and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? actually went outside. Oh, I'm actually in the city. Holy shit, that's crazy. Oh, they're just beggars. Can you take me somewhere, dude, right now? I think that's going to be it for now. Hopefully I won't come back later. But we never know. <laughs>